Did you ever get the opportunity to see Skitch Henderson conduct the Pops? No, I never actually saw Skitch conduct the New York Pops, but he and I conducted on a program together out in California, um, and I met him out there as part of the... He was a member of the Bohemia Club, and uh, I was a guest at the Bohemia Club a couple of times, and we actually shared a concert out there together one time. <clears throat> and how did you get to be the conductor? How did you get to the New York Pops? Uh, they had heard about me. They uh, were looking for a conductor for three years after Skitch passed away in 2005. And uh, they spent three years looking around at different people, and my name came up to them, uh, was recommended, and they had me in to conduct the 25th annual gala in, uh, in 2008. And uh, after that, things just went very well, and, uh, and they offered me the position. And um, how has the pop changed since you took the helm? Well, we've really kind of dusted it off and given it a facelift and a lot of fresh new ideas and energy with the type of programming we're doing. Um, really uh, trying to branch out and create a larger audience, a wider audience, um, younger audience at times, but uh, also <clears throat> just getting more uh, jobs for the orchestra, uh, more steady work. Um, we're we're uh, going to take the orchestra on a tour this year. Uh, so there's branching out and doing lots of different new, new ideas. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many musicians are usually um, on stage? About 80. <clears throat> and how often do you conduct auditions for the Pops? Oh, uh, that's on a that's on a case by case basis. We um, we have a pretty good roster that is a set list of players that have tenure in the orchestra that already exist. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, every once in a while we get an opening, and then uh, then we have to do something. And what is your schedule like? Like, um, what else? Uh, what I'm trying to get is, what else besides performing does the pops do? This is very uh, engaged with a bunch of education programs that we have. Um, we have our salute to music kids. Uh, we go out and we teach lessons in the schools. Uh, we do a lot of work at the Ronald McDonald House. Um, it, it's, our education programs are actually quite strong, and that, that, that's run by some other people. That's not really completely in my realm over there, but uh, that is something that we're, uh, it's very important to us, the music education, and we, we continue to provide these services in schools where they've been cutting programs. We go in and, and provide these types of programs for them. Um, other than that, that's, that's kind of it, uh, because our main focus is the performing mm -hmm. uh, our concerts. And who picks the theme and the performers? Do you do it or you have a committee? That's me. You. Okay. That, uh, that, that's me, but I've got a great team that I work with. You know, everything goes through uh, James Johnson and Ann Swanson, who is the, uh, the, Ann is the general manager, and James is the, uh, the uh, president of the orchestra. Mm -hmm. And what was your first performance with the Pops? What was your first theme, and, and who was there? My first one on my uh, first official season, my opening concert was uh, with the artist Wayne Brady, and uh, it's a show that I wrote for him called, uh, it's a tribute to the Sammies. It's a tribute to Sammy Davis Jr. and Sam Cooke. Oh. Um, and what are your plans for the future of the Pops? Well, to continue to get the name of the New York Pops out there uh, to the whole world. Um, so by, that's by continuing to tour. I would like to take the orchestra back to Asia, potentially to Europe, um, and also more touring here in the United States. I would like to record again. I want to get us on the Great Lawn of Central Park to do a free concert for the people of New York City, um, uh, expand our, uh, our concert series so that we're doing more concerts in Carnegie Hall if possible, uh, also create a... Um, uh, some some sort of a summer home for the orchestra so that when Carnegie Hall shut down this summer, we can do outdoor concerts uh, either out at, um, in Long Island or, or somewhere else around the city. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of ideas with things. Uh -huh. uh, has it ever been an, a CD with you um, and no. the Pops? Not yet, so that's in the few. Uh, about sure. the gala, um, tell me what is the theme, who will be there? This, this is uh, celebrating the legacy of Bob Hope. Uh, is the theme of this gala. So we've been, we've been working very closely with the, the Bob Hope Foundation, and uh, also we are we have a corporate honoree 
uh, that is the Interpublic Group and their chairman and CEO, Michael Roth. They've been uh, big supporters of the New York Pop Center education programs for decades. So uh, we'll honor them and also the legacy of Bob Hope. Uh, so a lot of great classic Bob Hope uh, uh, music from the, from the uh, movies and the television shows and a wonderful cast of characters. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you, and maybe I could catch you just for a soundbite um, the uh, evening of the gala. That sounds terrific. Wonderful. Looking forward All to right. it. Thank you so much. Thank you, much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.